everybody. So today we are going to be doing a, um, I guess you would say DIY. And I'm going to show you the things that I'm using first. And then we're just going to get started. So I'm going to be using this unicorn mold. We're going to start with this first. Um, I have my shea butter soap. soap. Shea butter soap. Oh, I can't talk today. All right, shea butter soap. I get mine from Michaels, but you can order them online. This is just the brand that I particularly like. Um, and then for our soap loaf, um, we're going to be using the clear melt and pour glycerin soap. And I have two of these. And this is what our soap will be going in this mold here. Um, for our fragrance today, we're going to be using, oh, will it focus? There we go. We're going to be using rainbow. It's supposed to kind of smell like Skittles. And then um, make sure you have some alcohol in a spray bottle. Um, we're going to be using Nina Simone Sparkles Glitter. Um, we're going to be using Pumpkin Head. I Dream Purple. Voodoo. It's this pretty red. We're going to be using Aphrodite. This is beautiful blue. And we're going to be using this green here. Can you guys guess what it's supposed to look like? And then I'm going to use this in my, just to give like a little shimmer. All right, guys. So I'm going to, oh, oh, and um, I'm using coconut oil. I like to put coconut oil in my soap to give it an additional moisturizer. All right, guys. So I'm going to start getting things together. I'll be right back. All right, so I have my um, shea butter soap out. And we're only gonna be using a little bit just to fill these molds. So I'm going to cut one and then um, that much. So, that's how much we're going to use. Alright, so I cut mine like this. Sorry if you guys hear it dropping. And I cut it and then I cut it again. Just to make sure. I'm using a microwave safe dish just to make sure that it melts evenly. Alright, and I'll be back. Alright, so I have it all chopped up. And I'm going to nuke it in the microwave at 30 second intervals until it's thoroughly melted. You do not want to overheat your melting pour. Alright guys, so our soap is completely melted. And this is our um, shea butter soap. Since these are for the toppers, we're not going to add any um, anything extra in them. No fragrance. Because these are just for to look pretty. So I'm just continually stirring, making sure there are no lumps. And I'm going to set that right here on our wax paper. And I'm going to get here comes the bride. And I'm just going to add a little bit in there. Oops. Sparkles. Alright, and then we're just gonna stir that in. I know you're like, what? I can't see it. But it's I I, I know why I did it. And we're gonna add just a little bit of sparkles. Okay, maybe a lot of sparkles. Don't judge me. I like glitter. And then we're just going to stir that in. And we're going to pour it in the mold. Make sure everything's incorporated. I know you're like, you can't see everything, but it's all right. It's for the glitter effect. It's in there. All right, so... 
this is our mold we're gonna leave it right here and we're just gonna pour them in now I already spritzed this with rubbing alcohol I probably should have told you guys that um, but I'm gonna finish pouring these up and when once you pour them you want to take your rubbing alcohol and spritz and it'll knock off all those bubbles all right guys I'll be back okay guys everything is poured I had a little accident but the good thing about melting pours you can just peel that right off all right so I have chopped up my clear um, soap and I'm gonna start melting that in 30 second intervals and I'll be back to show you when I'm adding the color so I've got my coconut oil on here once this is melted and I'm just gonna stir it in it will melt in the soap As you guys can see I'm gonna slide these unicorns out the way so that I can continue working all right, so that is completely melted in there. Now I'm going to add my color and I think I want to start off with red, which is Voodoo. I think that's good. And then we're just gonna stir this in, scrape down the sides. All right, now I'm going to add my rainbow scents and I'm just gonna add a little bit. And then we're gonna stir that in. And I just, ooh, that smells so good. I just spritzed my, um, my loaf with rubbing um, the alcohol and this just adhere, adheres. This just makes sure that your soap stays. So we're gonna pour our first color in. And we're gonna take our alcohol to get rid of all the bubbles. And I'm gonna start on the next one. Okay, so right now I just wanted to let you guys know we're in the waiting game um, because we want to make sure that our soap has a nice thick film on top so that the other colors don't bleed through. So we have some skin as you can see, but it's not quite what I want. So I'm gonna wait a few more minutes and then we're gonna get started on the next color. All right, so I have mixed up our orange pumpkin color. So right now what I'm gonna do is spritz some more rubbing alcohol there. Sorry, camera was moving. Now we're gonna pour our second layer. with alcohol all right guys I'm gonna start on the next one while I'm waiting for that to cool I just want to show you guys our unicorns I don't know if you can see the flex of sparkles in there but they're there all right as you guys can see I just poured the green layer and I'm gonna continue working because I don't want to make this video extremely long but I'm going to continue working and I'll bring you back when we're getting ready to put the toppers on. Alright guys, so I thought I'd bring you back so you could see me mix up um, Aphrodite. Look at that color. Look, it's so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see the bubbles coming from me stirring. They look so pretty. So 
So right now, guys, I'm letting the soap cool down to almost we get like a little film on top before we pour it over. And then I'm going to spritz it with rubbing alcohol as well. Um, and this just makes sure that the soap does stick. Now I'm getting ready to use I Dream of Purple because if you guys know me, it's my favorite color. So I am mixing this up and this is beautiful. Look at that color. Oh my goodness. It is so pretty. So pretty. Alright. So I'm getting ready to Add my fragrance. This is our last layer. All right. I'm actually going to be doing two DIY videos today, so I hope you guys like them. Um,. Mmm, it smells so good. Alright guys, so I'm going to continue stirring. I'm getting ready to pour. Alright guys, so as you can see, our last layer is there. I have spritzed it with alcohol. And now I'm going to let it set up and then we'll do our unicorn toppers. I know you guys are like, what does she have a fork for? Um, I didn't show you guys this because this is a new method I'm trying out. But I've been doing, watching a lot of tutorials and I see that they score the top of um, the soap. So we're going to see. Oh, I don't know. Trying new stuff. Oh, I almost cussed. Y'all forgive me. <laughs> I try not to cuss on here. Alright, so I'm spraying our layer with alcohol and now I'm going to add our unicorns and I'll be back once I add them all on or figure out how I'm adding them on to be honest with you okay so that's how I decided to place them I don't know how this going to work, <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and melt our topper um, and I'll be back and I will be using my Nina Simone sparkles again. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see our sparkles, but I added some sparkles in there and we are going to spritz everything really good with the rubbing alcohol and we're just going to... spray again and you see that sparkle yes love it all right guys so I'm gonna let this sit up and then I'll come back and cut it so you guys can see it all right everybody so I'm back and this is our unicorn soap hope you guys liked this um, DIY I love making them and it's in the scent of rainbow. Don't know what I'm going to name it yet, but it's pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.